About six years ago, at the age of 16, Maisie was diagnosed with a brain tumour. Over the next few months, her vision was reduced to a tiny, blurry circle in just her right eye. So if you want to pop those onto Maisie now... And well, Maisie had agreed to try, on stage, the latest version of these Give Vision goggles. They use magnifiers and augmented reality to amplify the wearer's remaining vision and highlight outlines. Maisie, are they working? Yeah, I can see your microphone and I can see that you're smiling and I can see the buttons on your shirt. Take a look at the audience. Yeah, they're waving. <laughs> How, um, I can see there's a lady in the front with a red jacket. The guy next to her is wearing stripes. Oh my God, it's so amazing. <laughs> so I didn't quite realize how many people were there and then I put them on and I could see everybody in the audience. It was a really scary feeling actually. Something Maisie felt especially robbed of through this traumatic experience was her ability to read her favorite books. So we have a copy of Harry Potter <laughs> And the Philosopher's Stone here. Do you think you'd be able to read us just the first yeah. couple of sentences if I hold the microphone up? Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Dursley of Number 4 Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. <laughs> It made me really happy that I could, you know, have that back. You know, that thing that was taken away from me to have it back was really lovely. Really do miss the sensation of buying a book, you know, bringing it home and reading the book. To think that in the future this kind of technology might be quite mainstream and that ability will, will be back for me, it's a really wonderful feeling. It's been a very overwhelming experience, but a really great one as well. I'm really grateful.